Hello and welcome to the sixth part of my Kerbal Space Program plugin tutorial series. This part will be fairly short and simple by expanding upon what we did in the previous video. So what will we actually be doing in this video? Creating a simple way to save and load the window position using a plugin configuration object that can be instantiated via the plugin configuration class in the ksp.io namespace. So continuing on from the last video where we centered the window on the screen we will now be saving the window to a file so that when you restart the game or whenever the game saves anything or loads anything it will reload the position where it has been saved. The first things first we will need to add in a using statement so using ksp.io that is the namespace for where the plugin configuration class is kept and we will be using that for saving and loading the data to an XML file. We will need two methods uh, public override void on save and we will also need a public override void on load we're not going to be using the node information in here, we're going to be using the plugin configuration objects themselves. What we will now need to do is instantiate one, which is going to be slightly different to a normal object because it uses a static method for creating itself. So a plugin configuration, well, let's call it config equals, normally you'd go new plugin configuration, but you don't want to do that for this. You want to go plugin configuration dot create for type and in the arrowed brackets you will want to put the name of your class which will be plugin tutorial then open and close uh, the normal brackets now the next thing we'll need to do is config dot set value and then we're going to give a, a name for this value which we're going to be saving which is going to be window position and the object which we're going to give it is our window position object and then we need to do config.save so it actually then writes it to a file for the onload method it's going to be virtually the same so we're going to have plugin configuration config equals plugin configuration dot create for type plugin tutorial and this part is going to be slightly reversed so config.load so you're going to load from the XML file then window position is now going to equal config.getValue and in the brackets here you want to put the object type it's going to be so it's going to be a rect type in here and what we called it so window position and we will now build our project as you can see it has exceeded that's that is basically all you need to do for saving a value for your plugin you can put anything in here so if you've got other variables that you need to save you can do the same thing config set value and then config.get value to put it back into the variable when you want to load it but now let's open up our Kerbal Space program using our batch file as always where it's copied over our new plugin tutorial DLL and we'll just wait for this to load. Okay now that the game has loaded what we're going to do is going to start the game. Let's resume save, let's go default here and first thing I'm going to show you is in plugin data now we've got a plugin tutorial folder it currently doesn't have anything in it because we haven't saved anything yet but we will do that now so let's go to our command pod on the pad okay what it's going to do now is it's going to center the window and it has created an XML file what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly open this using Sublime 2 okay as you can see this is what it has created it has created a um, a variable of a type rect called window position and it's going to be saving all the values for it so x min and y min are the x and y values and then you got including the width and including the height as well there you don't really need them values but the x min and x and y min are the ones that you need to look out for 
So what we now are need to do, or what I'm going to show you, is what happens when this gets changed and saved. So I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to end the flight. And what should happen now is when I click over here, it's refreshed and it has saved the new position being X 67 and Y being 148. If I restart this flight, it's going to still stay in that same position. I'm going to move the window over to this side now, end flight again, and it has changed the X and Y coordinates again. These are kept in this file, they will be loaded whenever the window is loaded, which means that if you come out of the game now and then reload the game, it will then plug these values right back into this window and when you restart the game, this window will be in the same position. And thank you for watching through this video. If you found this informative, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments you may have below and subscribe for more.